I always wished to fly like a bird. And the only way that I could think of having the same experience is through a drone and VR. So this is what we are going to do in today's video and that is adding a FPV camera to my drone and then trying to fly first person view for the first time. So this is how it works. We have a camera on the drone that is connected to a video transmitter and that video can be seen in a VR headset in real time. So it feels like you are in the first seat of the drone and with the remote in your hands, it gives the freedom to experience the bird eye vision of this world. So starting from the very beginning, this is my mini quadcopter which I had built 2 years ago but never fully FPV. But today thanks to Beeman brother, I have this Foxier camera and EBS Unify video transmitter. And to the beginners out there, adding a camera to your existing drone is not a big deal and is actually easy than you might think. Only a few steps and it is done. I firstly begin by removing the top plate of my drone. I had 5 volt voltage regulator on the front but as we will add camera there, it needs to be removed. I will add a buck converter later as it is the most efficient way of reducing the battery voltage to 5 volt. As the drone frame itself does not have the mount for the camera, I made this camera holder out of plastic pieces and some super glue. With this piece, I will be able to mount and adjust the camera angle. And this is the step down converter that I was talking earlier. If you want to know more about this, then watch my previous video on this topic. So moving on, this was all dirty so I used some cleaning alcohol to clean the surface so that the tape would stick properly. I am also placing the zip ties because relying completely on double sided tape would be a stupid idea. Now I can just tape it down to the correct position and then secure everything up with the zip ties. Then I screwed the camera into the place. After tightening all the screws, I realized that I screwed the camera upside down. So I had to unscrew all the bolts and screw back again with the camera mounted correctly. Uh, so now we will need the wires to connect to the video transmitter and if you look into the pouch that we got with the camera, we can find the cables along with the push buttons. But for now we are only concerned about the connector with 3 wires. And you know what, the connectors of the camera and the video transmitter is the same type. But unfortunately the video transmitter has 4 wire connector slot and the camera only has 3. There is an easy fix though, we can move the wires from the video transmitter connector to the camera connector. With a razor blade and gentle hands, it is also not that difficult thing to do. Uh, but bear in mind that we should match the color and position of the wires before interchanging them. Red wire is out from the camera connector so let's do the same with the BTX connector. Uh, it is also out now and it is just pushing the wire to the connector slot. After all the wires are replaced, we can just push the connector to the slot and the wiring of the camera to the video transmitter or we get it done. Uh, these are two wires for the on-screen display or OSD, but as my flight controller is CC3D, I will completely skip this for now 
but I will complete this once I replace my flight controller. Uh, and now the two wires left are black and red wires which are power wires and they need to connect to the batteries directly. These BTX can work from 2 cell LiPo all the way up to 6 cell, so no worries connecting them directly to the batteries. Don't get afraid as I'm connecting these wires to this, uh, to this converter. It is just the wires coming straight from the battery connectors. I am adding the string tube here because I don't want any electronics to short circuit in the mid flight. That would be very bad. Now I just need to figure it out how I am going to put the VTX into the frame. But before that we need to fix the antenna mount in the frame and to do so I am drilling holes to the top plate of the frame. Next is marking for the screw holes. And after that is done I can uh, finally screw the antenna mount to the frame with M3 screws. And as you can see those screws don't create any obstacle for the antenna to screw in. Uh, so now I think it will be fine if, uh, if I place my VTX like this in the top plate. Some double sided tape and zip tie would get the job done just fine. But the thing to be considered is that there is a USB in the VTX so it should not be obstructed by any zip ties. Securing this piece with a zip tie and the process is almost done there. Next I can connect my wires to the VTX. Add the antenna and see if it works. There is no fire and the LED is blinking upon connecting the wires which means we don't have any short circuit in the drone. Moment of truth. Wow, we have the video. It is so cool to see it working. So now let's quickly fix everything and uh, to the top plate and look at it more clearly. So it is completed now and should be able to fly. Uh, let me show you more clearly. Uh, let me test this one more time here and uh, we will have a first FEV test flight tomorrow. The image looks sharp and detailed, I uh, can't wait to see the things flying. So this is what happens when you fly a TV for the first time. I was stupidly dumb to fly there, but luckily no one was. I'm still practicing to fly, and there will be a day where I will be able to fly as smooth as a bird and as fluent as a flying leader. Peace out.